The Xiaomi 12 series has officially launched in the Philippines. Namely, the Xiaomi 12 and the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Yes, guys, no must the pro version sa ating bansa kasi last year wala tayong pro version. I cannot wait to get my hands on the pro version. Pero sa ngayon, official Xiaomi 12 in our country. We've got here the global version of the Xiaomi 12. Siya po'y pinakawalang phone na nareview ko this year na may Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, almost 1 million points and 2 to benchmark, may Dolby Vision display, napagandang design at napakagandang camera which is what our review is today. A full-blown camera review of the Xiaomi 12. Guys, alam ko na ang kanyang presyo. It's half half the price of an iPhone 13 Pro Max pero ang kanyang camera quality ay sobrang lapit sa iPhone 13 Pro Max so isipin yun but yes without further ado let us unveil the global version plus yung price mamaya and the camera review of the Xiaomi 12 tapos sa bins and you're watching Unbox Ladies Ooh. okay so actually ito na siya may bagong color guys violet ata to ang ganda mo what? This is the color purple. Wow. Actually, bumili talaga ako para sa aking asawa. Love na love niya yung purple color. Pero if you want yung ibang color, meron pa siyang gray at meron pa siyang blue color. Much more mellier. And yes, syempre, gusto na pati sa inyo yung box, no? Ulitin ko lang kung anong kasama sa kanyang global version. SIM adjector pin, warranty card, safety information guide, quick start guide, at yung kanyang jelly case. Yun lang, ito yung kanyang jelly case. It's a normal jelly case, nothing special about it. If I were you, bilikin na mas magandang case dito. Mas makapal, mas rubbery. And of course, kasama na rin yung kanyang accessories. USB Type-C cable and the 67 watts fast charger. Yun lang, kung gusto mo yung kanyang 120 watts fast charging, yung 12 Pro yun. But this one is kind of fast na rin, pero syempre, iba pa rin yung flagship fast charging na 120 watts. Okay, so ito na yung phone. As you can see, it's still the same as the phone I reviewed earlier this year. Poging pogi ang kanyang likod. Sobrang classy no kanyang matte back. Corning Gorilla Glass back po yan, guys. Matibay na at masarap pang hawakan. At syempre, ang kanyang camera. Tito nyo yung camera, guys. One of the best looking camera modules I have ever seen on a phone. Sobrang high tech tingnan. Sobrang laki ng lens. Ang tawag dyan ni Xiaomi, pro-grade camera. Kasi pang pro na daw siya. Now speaking of the cameras, eto na po no, ang specs ng kanyang cameras. Full specs niya, 50 megapixel, pro-grade Sony IMX766 sensor. Ayan po ay f-stop 1.88, that is 1 over 1.56 inch sensor size. May face detection autofocus na, meron pa siyang OIS. And of course, meron pa siyang ultra wide angle lens, that is 123 degrees wide angle, f-stop 2.4 po yan. And last but not least, ayaw kanyang 5 megapixel Tele macro lens, so hindi siya macro lang, tele macro. Ito po ay f-stop 2.4, and that's pretty much it. So nagtataka kayo bakit, Bin, saan yung telephoto lens? Well, yun na yun, tele macro lens. So wala siya yung 100 times zoom, wala siya yung special moon shots, thing, thing like that. Pero kasi ang tanong, sino ba talaga yung kumukuha ng mga ganun? Actually, sa day-to-day -day life nyo, ang kailan nyo lang talaga is sobrang ganda ng main sensor, which is this one. Guys, mag-focus lang kayo lagi dun sa kanyang main sensor. And of course, para sa akin, isang big deal na rin ang um, merong napakagandang ultra-wide angle lens. Don't take my word for it. Let me just show you the samples I got with the camera. Ito na po. We took pictures. Ito po si Cleo po ang aming uh, main photographer here. So, ito talaga yung forte niya. So, you can say siyang professional photographer. Ayan po yung kuha niya. Showing off the Xiaomi 12's impressive portrait shot. Tinan niyo yung background blur, guys. Legit, pati yung cutouts sa kanyang gilid, oh. Sobrang accurate, matindi yung pagka-cutout ng edges at yung detail. Grabe, ako na nagsabi sa inyo, if ganito yung camera nyo, ang sarap mag-Instagram. Wala lang editing to ha, as in, ito na yung default settings ng camera. Actually, pinakita to sa mga kapatid ko, mga friends, and nagulat sila na kuha lang to ng cellphone. Well, actually, it still depends on the photographer, no? no? Depende na yan sa photographer. It doesn't mean kung meron 100 megapixel camera or 1000 megapixel pa yan. If ikaw, as the photographer, don't know how to use the camera itself, hindi mo alam yung basics, hindi mo alam yung kung paano kumuha ng mga angles. Pero syempre, ang laki ng tulong ng camera nito, no? Kasi sometimes, no, uh, kahit hindi ka marunong, siya na yung bahala sa'yo. Let's say, for example, uh, against the light ka kumuha ng ilaw, hindi, at hindi mo alam na against the light pala ay hindi maganda para sa picture, siya na ang bahala sa'yo kasi ang ganda ng kanyang HDR. Na kahit sobrang bright ng scene, sobrang dark, kaya niya pa rin lagyan ng so much detail and remove the harsh lighting from the picture. Yes, matindi po yung kanyang dynamic range. As you can see, sa aking mga pictures dito, yung sky dapat sabog na yan. Pero as you can see, malinaw na malinaw yung details sa kanyang clouds. Ay, grabe yung pictures sa National Museum. Ayan po. Piling ko ultra wide to? Yes. And get this, ito po yung sample ng isang magandang dynamic range picture. As you can see, ang ganda ng reflection ng sunlight doon 
sa may lake banda. And still, makikita mo yung mga details sa puno dito sa part na to. Yes, shadows po yan. Kapag hindi po maganda yung camera nyo, medyo pangit po ang kuha nito. Ay, ito. Grabe. Ito, ito yung panalo. Wow. Ito talaga masabi kong parang kinuha talaga ng isang DSLR camera. Look at the colors. Look at the details coming from this picture. Naka, ano ha, pati yung background blur, sobrang believable. Yung cellphone guys, alam mo talaga kung kuha siya na ng isang cellphone. Medyo fake yung blurring, pero to guys, sobrang convincing. So realistic. It's really good. Pero siguro, ang pinaka-useful na feature dito, na kailangan na kailangan nyo kapag nagpipicture kayo. Guys, alam nyo na yan. Kapag nagpipicture tayo, mauga talaga yung ating kamay kapag handheld. Especially kapag isang kamay lang. Kapag kadalawang kamay, medyo stable. Pero kasi iba pa rin ang may tripod. Ang problema kasi dyan is baka maging blurry ang inyong photo kapag gumagalaw yung camera nyo. Which is why kailangan mga tripods ng mga photographers talaga kasi nga stable eh. Pero what if meron kang OIS, Optical Image Stabilization. Yung tipong kahit gumagalaw yung camera, mukha para siyang stable sa software. That's right, kahit pupasmado kamay ko, nanginginig. As you can see, stable na stable pa rin yung video dito or yung photo kapag hawak ko siyang ganyan. O, diba? That is the power of OIS. IOS. OIS. OIS para yun. <laughs> the IOS. Last mo na yun, ah. And because meron siyang OIS, kahit saan po kayo, akala mo meron kayong tripod. This is very useful, no? Especially pag low light. Alam na alam nyo sa sarili nyo na you can rely on your camera. Ito yung something na hindi talaga matapatan ng mga DSLR, guys. Ang DSLR talaga ay kailangan meron tripod. No matter what. Ang advantage ng mga smartphones ngayon, Like this one, meron siyang OIS, EIS na alak ng tulong sa stabilization ng kanyang camera. Kaya po wala na bumibili ng mga DSLR yung mga entry level. Kasi yung cellphone mo pa lang, okay na eh. Napansin nyo ba dati na parang sobrang sikat ng mga DSLR? Kung sino-sino na lang meron, may malas silang camera sa kanilang dibdib. Akala mo professional pero mapera lang talaga. <laughs> may joke lang. <laughs> ka. But yes, we'll talk. Today, everybody can become a professional with this kind of camera at your disposal. To back up that statement, ito po yung low light photos namin. Kadalasan kasi guys, kapag low light, hirap na hirap na yung camera. Kahit anong camera yan. The reason kung bakit malabo yung mga pictures kadalasan sa mga camera sa low light is because yun nga nahirapan silang makasagap ng light. Kasi guys, the sensor of the camera needs light. And in the absence of light, the camera needs to work harder to get more light into it. Kaya pati yung stabilization, apektado din. Di ba napansin nyo, medyo mabagal magpicture kapag low light, no? Yung camera parang nag-struggle. Minsan, 1 second, 2 seconds yung kanyang shutter, di ba? Kapag ka pinindot mo. Eto guys, kahit madilim, mabilis ang shutter at laging on point, sharp ang photo in low light. Eto po ang nakuha namin. Low light shots sa Manila. Ang ganda, di ba? That fountain is just so beautiful. And yes, dapat long exposure pa kami eto po yung itsura niyan guys. Oh my god, 'di ba? Tindi 'di ba? Artistic ang dating and the longer we took it, the more mas naging visible yung mga buildings sa side. Ito may example na mabilis lang, pero kasi na-focus siya doon sa light banda doon sa mga kotse. Pero ito guys, mas matagal, hindi lang yung light yung kanyang na-emphasize, pati na rin yung mga buildings sa side nakita na rin. And of course, how can I forget about its ultra wide angle lens, no? Sobrang wide po ng kanyang ultra wide angle lens. Ito yung masabi ko na flagship yung kanyang ultra-wide angle. Usually kasi sa mga mid-range phones at entry-level phones, yung kanyang ultra-wide angle lens ay hindi ganun kaganda. Ito guys, legit, very sharp yung kanyang ultra-wide angle lens. So, kahit saan ka, you can be sure na maganda ang inyong ultra-wide angle shots. Na para sa akin, madalas kong ginagamit yung ultra-wide angle para sa akin mga TikTok videos. Kasi nga, with this, marami akong pwedeng isiksik pa sa video mismo. Kasi limited lang space ko guys. Itong studio ko ay maliit lang. Ito lang yung pwede kong maipakita sa aking... Uh, main camera, so masyadong siksik, di ba? Kasi nga, nag apply pa siya ng kanyang EAS dito, so mas lalong nagka-crop yung kanyang video. At ito naman yung kanyang ultra-wide angle view sa kanyang video, so kahit meron siyang EAS, mas crop ng konti, marami ka pa rin pwedeng isiksik sa kanyang video. Thanks to that wonderful, wonderful lens. And of course, meron din siyang super macro. Ito yung super lapit na photo, you know? Kung mahilig ka sa mga super close-up na bagay, like yung dusk sa makita, posible po yan, kasi meron siyang tele-macro lens. At sobrang high quality naman ito. Ito nyo ba yan? Wow! That's a good macro lens. And of course, mga bago niyang features dito like yung Pro Mode. Meron siyang exposure verification. Guys, finally, malalaman mo na kung saan yung bright na part sa inyong picture. Yung overexposed. Meron pa siya ditong indicator or verifier. There's nothing new about yung kanyang Pro Mode, the standard pa rin. You can still shoot with RAW photos. Meron kang direct control sa white balance, aperture, shutter speed, ISO. Pero most of the settings are andito na nung Xiaomi 11. So, ayun. Sa video naman, yes, you can shoot up to 8K, 24 frames per second. Pero kasi, hindi ganun kaganda yung kanyang quality at 8K. 
if you want HDR, the most you can do is 4K 30 frames per second. Ayun. And yes, meron pa siyang extra stability, no? Steady video. Mas kinrap pa niya. At meron pa siyang Steady Video Pro. Although, hindi kasing ganda nung kanya Steady Video yung quality ng video. Pero mas zoom out siya. O, oh, yun ang pinag-iba niya. Other features like yung night mode, andyan pa rin. 50 megapixel mode, panorama mode, vlog mode, dual video, long exposure, slow motion, pretty much the same. Sa portrait mode, marami siyang effects dito, cinematic effects. Ayan po, pwede nyo lagyan ng extra for your pictures. Together with the beautification, ayan po yung itsura niyan. Yung kanya selfie, 32 megapixel. Ay, guwapo ko dito. Kahit may pimple ako, hindi mo siya nalata. Tanggalin ko yung pimple ko ah. Ay, ang smooth. Pwede mong itodo ang kanyang beautification. Super smooth Korean skin dito. Wow! Look at that! Guwapo! Nainlab na ako sa ko. Sobra. Okay, so ito yung kanyang selfie video. Para sa akin, medyo close up lang ng masyado ng konti. Siguro dahil sa kanyang EIS feature. Uh, but that's the quality you'll get when you're vlogging on this phone. Ganda. Actually, <laughs> one of the better selfie videos I have ever uh, seen, no? Okay, ito bang vlog. Nakapogi. At saka, okay na okay pang TikTok. Ah, 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 ah. Masyado lang malapit. So, kailang malayo, kailang malayo ka masyado. So, yun yung camera niya. Well, uh, ang masabi ko na naman is, compared sa mga dating mga Xiaomi phones, syempre, hindi kasing taas yung mga megapixels dati. Pero kasi, megapixel is just trivial. It's just marketing strategy, guys. Syempre, pag sinabing 100 megapixels, 200 megapixels, talagang mapapabili ka. Pero in reality, it's actually the software plus yung kanyang sensor. And I'm telling you right now, the Sony IMX766 sensor dito ay napaka-lupit. This easily beats the 64MP, 100MP, 200MP cameras of 2021. Ganun siya ka-impressive and all in a very small and compact body. Yes guys, mas maliit to, mas compact kaysa kay Xiaomi Mi 11. Also, mas mabilis. Meron siyang Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Almost 1 million points at to benchmark. It has a beautiful 3D curved display. Maganda meron mga movies dito. Very vibrant, very bright display. Although if you want high resolution, meron po tayo kay Xiaomi 12 Pro. Ito po ay 1080p lang guys. But you still get the Dolby Vision, the Harman Kardon speakers, all for the price of 39,999 pesos. And guys, meron ka ng 256 gigs of internal storage. So, sold ka na dyan when you're taking a lot of pictures and videos. Plus, if nag-games ka pa, marami ka pa storage dito na pwedeng lagyan ng mga applications. Pero if you want a much more impressive phone, mas magandang camera, mas mabilis, mas malupit yung display, at mas malaki yung phone, go get the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Finally, nilabas na sa ating bansa. It has 6.73 inch E5 AMOLED display, 120Hz refresh rate. Ito pa ay 3K display na, HDR10+, Dolby Vision ready, 12 gigs of RAM na to, mas magandang camera, Sony IMX707. This is a triple 50 megapixel camera setup. Yes! 120 watts fast charging na, lahat yan for only 48,999 pesos. Wow! Ayun lang, medyo kakaiba na yung kanyang pricing, no? So, if you got the money lang naman, no? You should go for the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Doon pala sa charging, panalong panalong worth the upgrade from the 12. Pero kasi, if you're on a budget, at kung nag-upgrade ka sa lumang flagship phone mo, then this could be your phone. Guys, let me know guys in the comments below if you want a comparison between this and the iPhone. 13 Pro Max. Magandang laman to. Kaya if you wanna see this, mag-subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon, so that you don't miss any of my great content. I was the Vince, and you're watching Unbox Ladies. Hoo-hoo.